I want you to see with this, in this case is the rough side down, you'd have better adhesion with this. And as different coppers come in different thicknesses, a half ounce or a one ounce cross section, um, that there's a bonding side and a resist side. And you can see that the surface roughness is depicted by that. This slide is depicting the uh, reverse um, treated side where the rougher side is up. And again, I want you to think back on our electromagnetic um, image whereby the capacitive um, energy is drawn on the bottom side of this. And so it would have a smoother surface whereby the energy is flowing. And this affects what's known as the skin depth. How deep will the energy go into the copper? And when it's smoother, um, that is better for high speed applications. So with this chart, um, just an overview of some of the copper foils that are available to us. Um, you can see the left side, the foil type, whether it's an electrodeposited or with a reverse uh, treatment or a rolled annealed. And some of the applications, whether or not it's such a standard FR4, polyamide, um, when you start getting into high speed designs, um, the, the copper roughness truly starts playing an effect. And you can see that it ranges anything from five or six microns down to 0.7 micron. So again, the um, acronyms used for that like HVLP, um, that's the hyper, very low profile copper. And again, some of these um, are very helpful in high speed designs. So talking about our high speed design, in particular, we're talking about the skin effect of copper. So high frequency effects as frequencies increase, the current concentrates more and more towards the copper's outer edge. When the roughness of the copper surface becomes close to the wavelength of the signal, the loss increases. This begins to be a big factor at frequencies of 10 gigahertz and higher. So the rule of thumb of copper is slightly lower loss and wider lines. Um, that will improve the loss, by, it'll lower the loss. And the effects of the oxide treatment are, they're hard to accurately predict, but uh, using an oxide can negate some of the roughness and um, but only have an effect at, at higher frequencies. So the skin effect has a, a bigger impact on strip line um, rather than micro strip since field is concentrated on the top and the bottom line uh, instead of mostly the bottom. So again, it depends where the energy field is. So if you're putting your ground plane below it, you're gonna worry about the bottom side. If the ground plane is on the top of it, you'd worry about the top side. So you can see that having a smooth side um, truly can lower your uh, potential of skin effect um, changing your high frequency.